As you see, I don't have a lot of clothes because all I have has up until now had to fit into a suitcase. Well, I would say that I'm very eclectic because I wear clothes from all over the world and I put them all together. For instance, these shoes, these are from Spain. This skirt underneath is from Portugal. This is from Hawaii, um, this is from India, these earrings are from France, my ring is from Canada, and this ring is the Eye of Shiva, and I bought this in Vancouver, and it was created by a fellow who is Turkish, and it just jumped out at me. I wasn't going to buy a ring and it's all hammered and so lapis, lapis, silver and turquoise. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These boots are so cool. I bought them in Austria. I was going on a 10 day walkabout and I didn't have any appropriate shoes. So these are what I bought and they fit me just like a glove. They're just like me walking in a pair of slippers. So love these boots. So those are from Austria. So these jeans, these are jeggings, are leggings and jeans combined. My beautiful silk scarf from India. And then this is cotton, because I either like cotton or silk or linen. This is from the market, the Tuesday market in San Miguel. Yeah. They're the most comfortable ones, but you see what I've done? They're starting to, because I every once in a while I trip. There's been so many times that I have almost tripped or because I'm so busy looking around to see what's so beautiful and that's everywhere. Seriously. So this coat comes from Mirepoix in the south of France. So I had come back from India, it was in April, and I was freezing. After all, it was France, and it was April. It's the woman who made it. She's, she made it. She felted it, and then she oh. sewed it. Unreal. That coat is over the top. Yeah. So, and every time I go back there, and I have this coat on, and I walk in, and she says, Yeah, that coat still works, doesn't it? Said, yeah. So this I've worn all over the world. Love it. And my lipstick matches. And she makes these also. The little um yeah, flower thing. So I have a few pins on here from different places I've been. 
So when it's cold, I do it up like this. She only does boiled wool, linen, and silk. And she has some other designers too. It's a really good spot. So then I trained with Hawaiian kahunas, North American Indians, with a Celtic shaman in Britain for three years. I trained with a, a Russian shaman. He's the first person I ever heard play a person's soul song on the piano. And it was just a, an amazing, amazing adventure. Everybody who doesn't have a physical home needs a signature. Definitely. Talk to me about not having a physical home. <coughs> oh, that made me cough. Interesting. Okay, so four years ago in Canada, I sold my condo, put my things in storage, gave a whole lot away, sold a lot of things. I lived many, many different places. I went to Portugal, I went to, well, last year, I was in 12 countries on four continents, still sort of searching where was I gonna land again and create another physical home for myself. So I came to San Miguel, and then I'll see if I'm going to create another home here or if I'm gonna take my show on the road again and carry on. Don't know exactly yet. And what is it like to have your show on the road? I mean, what, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> what is, is that fun? Is it exciting? Is it terrifying? Is it? Oh, is it's not terrifying. No, never. And I actually travel with from a very centered place because I think that my my confidence and knowing that I'm always safe is very important, and that's an inside feeling. found three feathers and for me whenever I find feathers it's signals from the angels so this one was on my doorstep outside and I had gone out to see if my friend was coming and she wasn't so I came back in then I went out a little bit later when she arrived and this was on my doorstep this one I found on the street and this one was right in front of my of my door of my bedroom here outside. What do you think so it was saying? The, the they're message? just that the angels are here. They're sending their love. They're watching over me. All that. The devas. The wonderful angels. So to be present, to be totally here. Now, I, because of having a violent mother, I disassociated till I was about 12 years old. So I know what disassociation is all about. Wow. And it took me some doing to actually bring myself so that I am present. I'm here. And my ex-husband, he said to me, well, you looked like you were here. You have three kids and a husband. How could you have not been here? And so I said to him, when he said, well, you look like you were here, I said, yeah, good actress. Yeah. Was that when you were wearing the peach jumpsuit? <laughs> the peach tracksuit, yes, that was those days. Yeah, that's how I used to hang out, in this peach tracksuit, and I wore it almost all the time. And one of my friends, even she, her husband, said to her, how come that's all that Diana wears? And I thought, what's he doing looking at me anyway? What's the idea? What's the thing here? So, uh, and the peach tracksuit, what was that? Was, I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what kind of style that I might have. And so I just, I was hiding. I was definitely hiding. Why peach? I don't know, it was the color. Not any particular. Could have been any color tracksuit. Could have been any, but that's the one, one I chose at that time. To hide out? Yeah. Talking about when I was in Peru, 
and I was in a home and up on the wall was a box with a curtain in the front and so my friend and I went over and we peeked behind this curtain and here was the skull of the grandmother and they kept the grandmother and I guess her memory alive with them in in their home with this skull just in a little crate <laughs> yeah she was sort of sitting in this crate attached to the wall would you like that I don't see the point of it right yeah. I, I would like it. You would like it. I, I would like to be in the crate. Okay, so tell me why you would, <laughs> <laughs> you would like to be in the crate. I, I would just like to be able to, to hang out a little longer. Okay. But, you know, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> Living in San Miguel because there's so many people who are from so many different places. There have been a couple of times when people have said to me, and where are you from? And I said, I'm from the Transcendental. I'm just here with a visitor's permit, and I'll be here for a while. I don't know exactly how long. And they sort of look at me. So coming from the Transcendental, we, we bring ourselves down into a physical body to learn, actually I believe, to learn how to be a spiritual eternal being on this third dimensional plane in a body.